Hey guys, welcome to Lights and Buttons. In this series, we're talking about finishing the basement, and in this case, we're building out a home theater and a photo slash video studio. So if you're new to the channel, don't forget to watch the first video. I'll include a link to it in the video description below, as well as the end of the video. For those of you who are subscribed to the channel, thank you. Um, we're currently continuing on this journey of building out the basement with all the tech stuff and in this video, we're going to be covering lights, but not just any lights. We're talking about smart lighting. Specifically, the Hue smart lighting system that runs over the Zigbee protocol. Now, let's, let's talk about the stuff here. There's a bunch of boxes, a bunch of lights. Here, we have the BR30 bulbs. These are going to be the LEDs that go into the recess can. So in other words, this will be up in the ceilings, providing the main source of light. Here on the sides, we have the Hue Light Strip Plus. These are the rope lights that will go along the edge of the room that will provide indirect lighting. And then the bases are located here. And then the extensions are all along the front. Along the edges, we have the smart switches. The smart switch here, well, it doesn't matter, these are the same. One of them will be dedicated to the main on and off operation of the room. The other one will be dedicated for the photo studio so that we can change the lighting settings to match the 5000K LEDs that will be running in the soft boxes. Now, you may be wondering, did I color coordinate this shirt with the boxes? I'm gonna say no, but I don't think you're gonna believe me. Anyway, let's compare these LEDs with the first generation Hue smart lighting system. Now let's compare the first generation Hue bulb with the new one. The first generation has a gray trim that goes around the edge and is a little bit dimmer at 630 lumens compared to the new one, which outputs at 650 lumens. The new one does not have a gray trim around it and looks uh, kind of like the original one in terms of the shape because they're both BR30s, um, but the exterior design is a little bit different. In terms of comparing the lights, I currently have them grouped into the same test room. What we can do is change the color temperature of the white color to a more yellowish tone or a warmer tone. We can also make this into a more bluish color. And if we dive into the different color spectrum, you know, we can kind of, we can kind of bring it all over the place in terms of what we want. So one thing I noticed is that the blue and the greens are a lot better. So if I'm going to bring this to the green on the left side, that's the original bulb, the first generation Hue bulb. On the right side, it is the newer generation of the Hue color bulb. The one on the right seems to have a much richer green tone to it. And by the way, the camera settings are locked. This is shooting at 4000K in terms of the white balance, 1 30th of a second at f2.8. Now we can move this into the blue and start testing there as well. It's kind of hard holding it in front of the camera. So if I do like this kind of blue, on the right, you'll see, I guess, a more pleasing blue versus the left where it kind of stays purplish even though on the app, we're nowhere near purple. And finally, we have the finished setup here. We have two different controls. One of them is mounted to the wall. And then the other one, this hockey puck looking control, is actually powered not by batteries, but by the kinetic energy by you pressing the button. We have different modes. The first one will turn on the lights. The second one will dim the lights to movie mode. So everything will become very dark but the lights towards the back of the room will still remain on at a very low level so that you can still walk around and see while a movie is going. The third mode is a brighter mode that allows you to still see the movie screen but also have a much brighter area around you. And finally the fourth mode, it just puts out random colors, well, preset random colors and this is useful if you want to show off the different colored lights and have a party look. That's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.